When survival is on the line, the choices you make matter. Where should a prepper stock up, Costco or Walmart? In the unpredictable world of 2023, knowing where to find your essentials is key. But it's more than just about the budget, it's also about the variety of products, the impact of supply chain issues, and the dreaded empty shelves. Join us as we delve into this critical question comparing the two retail giants Costco and Walmart to see where a prepper can get the best bang for their buck. As we embark on this journey of survival, remember to subscribe to our channel, Prepping for Tomorrow. We're here to keep you informed, to help you prepare for what lies ahead. Stay prepared, stay informed, let's dive into the details. First, we take a deep dive into the world of Costco. Imagine aisles stretching as far as the eye can see, filled with everything from canned goods to camping gear. Yes, we're talking about the wonderland that is Costco. A paradise for preppers, Costco's main draw is its focus on bulk items. These bulk offerings are not just about quantity, they also present a significant opportunity for cost savings. Take for instance the humble canned bean. A staple in the prepper pantry, canned beans offer long shelf life and are packed with protein. Buying these in bulk at Costco can lead to substantial savings over time. And it's not just food. Think about essential non-perishable items like toilet paper, batteries, or even bottled water. With Costco's bulk offerings you're not only saving money you're also ensuring that you have a substantial stockpile, come what may, but it's not all roses. One potential drawback is the annual membership fee, which can be a hurdle for the budget-conscious prepper. However, many find that the savings throughout the year far outweigh the upfront cost. Another thing to consider is the sheer size of the items. Buying in bulk means you'll need ample storage space. So if you're living in a small apartment or don't have a dedicated prepper pantry, this could be a challenge. Costco's supply chain also deserves a mention. Despite the ongoing global supply chain issues, Costco has managed to keep its shelves relatively well stocked. This is due to its robust supply chain, which is built to withstand disruptions. However, it's essential to keep in mind that no system is infallible, and empty shelves can happen, even at Costco. Lastly, let's not forget the additional benefits that come with a Costco membership. From discounted gas to savings on prescription medications, these perks can add value beyond just the products on the shelves. Costco, with its bulk items and membership benefits presents a compelling case. But what about Walmart? Now let's turn our attention to Walmart. The retail giant that is Walmart is renowned for its extensive range of products. From groceries to camping gear, you can find nearly everything under one roof. This vast variety is a boon for preppers who are looking to stock up on a diverse range of goods and supplies. Walmart's grocery section is particularly noteworthy. The store offers a wide range of canned goods, dried foods, and bulk items, making it a veritable goldmine for those looking to build a prepper pantry. The availability of long shelf life food items, such as rice, beans, and pasta, can be a game changer when planning for long term survival scenarios. In addition, Walmart's affordability is one of its prime selling points. The store's commitment to everyday low prices can be a significant factor, especially for budget preppers. The ability to buy more for less is invaluable when building a comprehensive stockpile. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. Walmart, like any other retailer, can be affected by supply chain issues and empty shelves. In times of crisis, popular items can quickly run out, leaving latecomers in the lurch. This unpredictability can be a potential drawback for preppers who rely on consistent availability of certain products. Furthermore, while Walmart has an impressive variety of goods, the quality of some of these products may not always be up to par. This is especially true when compared to some of the higher-end products offered by stores like Costco. Despite these potential drawbacks, Walmart's strengths cannot be understated. Its wide product range, coupled with its affordable pricing, makes it a strong contender in the eyes of many preppers. Walmart, with its wide variety and everyday low prices, is not to be overlooked. But how do they stack up against each other? Let's delve deeper into this question in the next section. Stay tuned as we compare and contrast Walmart and Costco in the context of prepper stockpiling. The real question is, how do these retail behemoths compare when we pit them against each other? Let's start with the prices. Costco, with its bulk buying model, offers significant savings on many items. However, the catch is, you need to buy in larger quantities. For some, this might be a deal breaker, especially if storage space is a concern. On the other hand, Walmart offers everyday low prices on a wider range of quantities, which can be more manageable for those with limited storage. 
Now let's talk about variety. Costco is known for its curated selection of products, however this means fewer choices. If you're looking for a specific brand or type of product, you may not find it at Costco. Walmart in contrast offers a vast array of products spanning numerous brands. This wide selection can be a boon for preppers looking to diversify their supplies. In terms of availability, it's a mixed bag. Supply chain issues have hit both retailers hard, leading to empty shelves at times. However, Walmart's larger network of stores and robust inventory system gives it an advantage in keeping products in stock, especially during times of high demand. When it comes to memberships, Costco requires an annual fee, which can be a turnoff for some. But it's worth noting that this membership comes with perks such as access to discounted gas and exclusive deals. Walmart, in contrast, doesn't require a membership to shop, which can be a plus for budget-conscious preppers. Both retailers offer online shopping and delivery services, a convenience that can't be overlooked in our modern, fast-paced world. However, Costco's delivery options can be limited compared to Walmart's, especially if you live in a more rural area. Lastly, let's consider the shopping experience. Costco's warehouse-style setup can be overwhelming for some, with its high stacks of products and bustling crowds. Walmart, on the other hand, offers a more traditional shopping experience which some may find more comfortable. In the end, the choice between Costco and Walmart comes down to your individual needs and circumstances. If you're looking to buy in bulk and save, Costco could be your best bet. But if you prefer more variety, smaller quantities, and the convenience of shopping without a membership, Walmart might be the way to go. As we can see, both Costco and Walmart have their strengths and weaknesses. So, what's the verdict? In the end, the choice between Costco and Walmart may come down to individual needs and preferences. As we've navigated through the aisles of both these retail giants, we've uncovered the strengths and weaknesses each one holds within the realm of prepping supplies. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. Costco, with its emphasis on bulk purchases, provides an opportunity for long-term savings. If your pantry has the space and your budget allows for initial higher outlay, then Costco's larger quantities can be a smart choice. Additionally, their product range boasts of quality goods, from high-end camping equipment to gourmet non-perishable food items. However, one must also consider the annual membership fee, which might be a deterrent for some. On the other hand, Walmart offers a different kind of appeal. Their smaller package sizes and lower upfront costs may be more suitable for those with tighter budgets or limited storage space. Walmart's extensive network of stores also means easier access for many, regardless of where you live. Their product range, while not as premium as Costco's, is vast and varied, ensuring you can find almost anything you might need for your prepper pantry. But in these uncertain times, we must also factor in the influence of supply chain issues. Empty shelves can become a common sight in any store, and both Costco and Walmart are not immune to this. It's essential to keep an eye on the situation, adjust your shopping habits accordingly, and perhaps even consider diversifying your sources for supplies. The decision between Costco and Walmart isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, it's about understanding your specific needs, your budget, and your storage capabilities. It's about planning for the long term while also being flexible enough to adapt to short-term changes. Remember, being a prepper isn't just about stocking up on supplies, it's about being prepared for any situation, from a minor power outage to a major natural disaster. It's about knowing how to use the tools you have, whether it's a can of beans or a solar-powered generator. So, whether you choose to fill your cart at Costco, Walmart, or perhaps both, keep in mind that the ultimate goal is preparedness. Investing in the right tools, learning new skills, and staying informed about the world around you are all part of the prepping process. And finally, remember that prepping is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about hoarding goods, but about careful planning and thoughtful purchasing. It's about creating a lifestyle that can withstand the test of time and the unpredictability of life. Whether you choose Costco or Walmart, the most important thing is to stay prepared. Survival isn't about the best deals, it's about making the right choices.